Airbase is perch. Uh, here's a viewer mail where I, I, you know, if I was more of a dick, I, I, you know, I am pretty much a dick actually. Um, I could make a pretty spicy thumbnail and uh, a real baiting kind of uh, title. It would get a lot of people click on this, and they would just start blasting and frothing at the mouth without listening to this video. But uh, uh, I, I probably won't do that, or maybe I'll be in a pretty you know prick kind of mood when I upload this, and maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I mean, you you can see now. So you can tell me, did I go through with it or do, did I just do something kind of benign and tired? I don't know. Uh, but this viewer mail asks a question that I think is a good question, although um, it, I think it's going to require everybody get past the uh, knee-jerk reaction you might have to what the question to get to the actual heart of it. So let's, let's do it. A uh, viewer says, hey, Perch, I like some of your show, although, quite frankly, you play to the CG, gra CG, uh, can't even say it, CG crowd too much by giving them talking points that help their case. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, let, let's get through the rest. Let's help their case. Help their case. Uh, here is a challenge for you. Of all the CG comics and the talk about how crowdfunding is taking over Western comics, doing better, and so on, why is it then that you never see anyone actually talking about the comics that are being produced? Art gets shared. People talk about the success of campaigns, but you never hear anyone discussing the plot of, say, Jawbreakers, or Cyberfrog, or even Eric July's new book. Lots of uh, posts talking about how Eric July is owning the SJWs, but absolutely zero speculation on the characters, comments about the plot, reviews, anything. Why? because nobody is actually reading these books. They are buying them as a sign of protest and a chance to say they get to own the libs, but nobody actually cares about the comics that are being produced. What say you? Okay, uh, well first, um, to, to go back up to the top, what say I? Um, if I I'm just telling you kind of points. And sometimes I put out facts, like, like numbers, uh, like sales, like how comics are viewed. And if those are, if those are helping CG talking points, I, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I've, I'm pretty have clearly stated, and you can see in the comments, lots of people telling me on a regular basis that I'm a dopey dumbass who doesn't understand how the world works and how the liberals are I've taken over all this shit and ESGs, blah, 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 blah. You see that all the time. So... You know, I I don't think the CG crowd is like, yay, perch. I don't think I, that that clearly is not the case. But look, if I say, hey, the, the sales numbers for, you know, Miss Marvel kind of suck. And when they reboot it over and over and over again, sucks harder. They, they, they tend to go harder. And if somebody says, wow, you know, you're, you're putting out some information that some people from CG use to say that the comic sucks. So you, you should feel bad about that. I mean, ah, fuck off. Sorry, but come on. Come on. You know, that, that's just absurd. Um, <laughs> do whatever you want with stuff, folks. But then to rest your mail. So you, you raise, you know, I clearly you're against these books, and that's fine. Um, my, my perspective on these books is, you know, I, I, I buy a lot of different crowdfunded books from a lot of different groups, all kinds of different groups. And, um, you know, as I've said before, uh, by and large, the quality often isn't that great in several of them. Um, some cases pretty bad every now and then good. But generally, it, as I, I think I've said this before, they feel like indie kind of punk rock. It's definitely the, uh, you know, the, the do it yourself indie scene. And so quality is pretty all over the place, but it, it, it has the feel of people who are making their own comics back in the eighties. It has that same kind of vibe to it, both in, you know, how things get done. I, I, I said in a previous video that the thing that irks me the most about a lot of these books that are crowdfunded is the typography, meaning the font and how it's placed and everything else is super amateur. And it really is, uh, it, that, that drives me nuts uh, every time. And that goes across the board, by the way, uh, all different groups making crowdfunded comics. They seem to blow it on the, on the font all the time. I, I don't know why, but anyway, not all of them, but some. Um, but, so there's one point I actually wholeheartedly agree with you on. No, actually, you know, not, not necessarily agree, but I'm going to take it in a different direction. 
one thing that is peculiar, and, and I'll identify kind of the problem and then, you know, say what needs to happen, is that there is not nearly enough buzz on the content of the crowdfunded books that are being sold. And I'm going to take it way beyond, you know, uh, CG books and take it to all crowdfunded books. There's just not a lot of discussion on this stuff. Uh, but yeah, there, there is plenty, as he said, there's plenty of people who will post things like, you know, congratulations on the campaign. This is a great book. Look at all the money we're making. Screw you, Marvel, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, um, and if you look at like, like take a look at Zoop for a moment. Zoop, I think, does a pretty, pretty powerful job of really promoting the books during the campaign, really putting that stuff out there, because that is their job. That is fundamentally what they're going to do. But post-campaign, once it's been fulfilled, the books are going out, there are plenty of posts of photos of the comic on, you know, on a chair, on the couch, on, you know, look what I got in the mail today, here's the comic. But think, if you will, about the kind of, uh, you know, huge threads. Like, there's this guy, Exalted Speed, on Twitter. Good guy, posts lots and lots of threads about questions he gets and just kind of different things about comics. Very obscure stuff at times. You know, tell us about the time Silver Surfer fought Mephesto. Well, here's 30 posts about it. What about Jack of Hearts? Here's a bunch of, here's, here's in detail about that character and that universe and all that kind of stuff. Well, I'm not saying it's zero because it's absolutely not zero. You can certainly go and you can find people talking about comics. But crowdfunded books pretty across the board it's it's silent people post about the campaign they are proud about the money they make and then they'll post i got the book with like a yay smiley face emoji and that's it there's no like you know evaluation like hey i like this character what their wonder what their deal is with a lot of kind of in-depth commentary about what went on in the comic i'm not just talking reviews because there are reviews you can find but they are even there, they're kind of few and far between. And the reviews tend to be like super, I don't want to say generic, but almost, it's almost like people are trying to say, I don't want to spoil the crowdfunded book for somehow, for reasons I don't quite understand, but I don't want to spoil it. So I'm going to make it so vague and abstract that you could literally use that same review for almost any comic there is. The stuff is, is just platitudes, almost always. Again, not always. Almost always. And I think that if crowdfunded books and any, any particular group, any of them, left, right, center, whatever brand you want to put on that, if they want to actually take that next step, they need to be asking themselves and, and maybe the fans of this stuff, you know, they're definitely very full-throated fans of CG and anti-CG. And one of the things that I think people could do a lot better on is start to get into that kind of in-depth discussion of the characters, what's going on, etc. I'm, you know, uh, Zach has has made multiple Jawbreakers books, right? Therefore, um, it would make sense for people to be talking about the expanded universe, or you know, what would solo books, speculating on this, what if this character did that? Like that would be a good thing. It would be healthy. It'd be discussion on the titles. And again, if you look at, um, for all the, the crap people hurl at Marvel and DC's way, and you get tons of discussion about Flash. Flash got a new costume. Oh, let's have lots of discussion on the costume. Oh, here, Green Lantern. What's it, what, what Green Lantern ring is? Simon Boz carrying a gun. I don't know. Let's go. Like all this stuff about those characters. Now, to be fair, I'm actually going to amend something I just said there. One problem I think Western comics have, meaning Marvel, DC, some of the indies, is even with them, there's a lot less discussion than there was, say, five years ago. There used to be a lot more kind of speculation. Where is it going? Here's, a, here's an example. When Avengers vs. X-Men came out, if you went on to Twitter or you went on to Facebook, there were tons of threads debating, speculating, where's it going to go on CBR? Lots of people talking about, you know, AVX, what was going to happen, what the likely outcome was going to be, was Cyclops right or wrong, all this stuff. Here we are with AXE, so Avengers X-Men Eternals. Nobody is speculating about shit. Nobody cares. 
you go on there and I, I just to test my own theory, you know, I paused it for a second and I went to go look and there's nothing there. Like you, you search that and there is like, oh, here's a comic. Hey, here's a variant cover for it. Oh, I can't believe this happened in the comic. Nobody is talking about where it goes at all. Anyway, I give you that point because I think that for crowdfunding, if you're a big supporter of crowdfunding, if you're, again, CG, anti-CG, uh, CG adjacent, CG red and black, GC, you know, the, the Mitzelplik version of CG, I, I don't know, whatever. Whatever group you're in, pro, con, hate, love, whatever, got to figure out ways for these books to be discussed more. For them to, to people to actually start getting into a what about this? What happened about this? Um, what if this crossed over with that? Like that kind of stuff. Again, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. Um, I don't know about your point about Eric July's book. Has it shipped? I mean, I, I don't know. Again, I don't know. I'll bet you, I will go ahead and bet it won't change. Meaning, when it does go out and when, when people get it and they start reading uh, this title of his, I don't think it'll be any different from what we've seen with you know, all the other crowdfunded books. Like I, I'm not expecting to see in-depth threads about that comic. I don't think anybody's going to do it. I think lots of people will talk about how they, you know, own the SJWs. I think lots of people will post photos that they got the book and yay. And then other people will post photos going, uh, look at this trash, you know, that I can't believe this is a comic, whatever. There'll be lots of that, but will there be in-depth discussions on the characters, their powers, who's better than this one? What if this character did this? What about, kind of this plot point, it seemed like it was setting up here. Do you think that this subplot is going to lead to this? I don't, I don't think there's going to be any of that. I hope I'm wrong. And not just for his book, any book. Literally, I don't have, I do not have a dog in this punt. Um, is that a thing? I don't know. Anyway, I, I, I don't inherently care who starts doing it, but I wish somebody would and that it would catch on. Because I think that's an element that's really critical to indie crowdfunded, et cetera, success. You got to get people actually invested in your comic, in your universe enough that they want to talk, speculate, you know, get into the details and, you know, try and figure out what's going on. I think that's, that's, you know, that that's key. And in turn, I think Marvel and DC ought to have a good think and figure out how they also get it back. Now they still have, they still have plenty way more than the indies, way more than crowdfunding, for sure. But increasingly, a lot of that is based on the MCU or based on kind of nostalgia conversations, not based on the new stuff that's coming out. It, it actually dawns on me every single time I pick up a comic where they kind of hint that there might be more. A lot of the anthologies do this. So the heroes will fight a villain and the villain will kind of get away or there'll be a shadowy, you know, other villain in the background to be like, is this the end? Question mark. It's like, yeah, it, it is Ian, because nobody, nobody cares. Nobody's talking about this. In the Marvel uh, Voices uh, uh, Latino Hispanic comic, um, they, they, the White Tiger had an adventure, and there was a, some kind of shadowy you know, organization that was uh, you know, trying, to, trying to get White Tiger and was, was creating mayhem and villainy. And we didn't know who this was, but they were kind of in the background, like, ah, ha, ha, ha. And, it, the, you know, the comic kind of like, who is this sinister villain? You'll find out. It's like, you would think in a, in a normal world, you'd be able to go onto Twitter or Facebook and you'd see people going, man, like, who is that? Who was that person? I don't know. You think it was like, could it be the Red Skull or Dr. Doom or I don't know, a new person? Uh, maybe they're associated with AIM in some way. Nobody is saying any of that. And that would be healthy. But to the point of your mail. I, I, I agree in the sense of I don't see a lot of that commentary either. Very, very little. And there should be. Again, I'm not entirely surprised because, again, like it or dislike it, a lot of the, the crowdfunded books are usually purchased as a way to support the creator more than, hey, this book looks really cool. I can't wait to read it. And that's it's not throwing shade on anyone. That's just kind of a fact that that is how crowdfunding has worked. More people go in to support the person involved making it versus the person who, uh, you know, who, versus the actual content itself. And that's one big reason. But if, if they want to kind of, if people want to step it up, people want to get to that next level of uh, popularity and everything else, they need to crack that nut, meaning get 
get these comics to the point where people are actively talking about what's in them, speculating on what's next, you know, all that kind of stuff. That's what's going to be, that's what's, that's what's key to success. Anyway, let me know if your thoughts, by the way, I, again, please, I, I, I don't need to have you, don't point me to like, well, but you forgot about this message board over here. We're talking, I know there's stuff exists. It's not, this is not a hundred percent or zero percent stuff exists, but by and large, very little discussion about the content. That's my observation. And just in making this video prior to, you know, kicking off this video, I, I, I saw for myself, I went on I searched for July's book. I searched for several other crowdfunded books and I get tons of posts talking about, uh, you know, that congratulations, made lots of money. And that is congratulations, made a lot of money. Good, good, made a lot of money. Nobody's, nobody should be throwing shade at that. But very little about the content. And again, to stress a point, it's not, you know, to, to argue with the person who wrote in the mail. That's not just CG books. That's, that's like all of them. All of them. You know, big name creators of Liam Sharp put out some crowdfunded stuff. Lots of people say, I love Liam Sharp, like, like Liam's art. Hey, Liam made a lot of money. That's cool. Um, lots of, lots of compliments, lots of photos of people getting their material and going, yeah, look at this. Look what I just got. N nobody's talking about the content. That, that's that extra step we need. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for listening.